Oh, all right. So one, one question, I mean, uh, Samson, yes, um, you, the youth have the larger percentage, you know, of um, the voting population in the country. But the question remains again, um, how united are the youths to make that disruption that you think they can make in the national politics of this country? I think across board, young people are already building national consensus on, on topical issues as it relates to political governance. A typical example was not too young to run. And you could see how young people, irrespective of tribe, irrespective of geographical extraction, uh, mobilized around these issues. And they were engaging um, across board. Um, and, you know, the not too young to run actually provided an opportunity for young people to rediscover their citizenship. While we're addressing the question about age, it was simply about an unequal society that needed to be unbundled and restructured. And poverty does not know any tribe. Poverty does not know any religion. Um, we, or inequality is felt by everybody, every part of our, of our national life. And so, with respect to a collective dream for our country, yes, young people are already building cohesion around some of these issues. Well, and you'll be very, very shocked at what will happen in 2019. We are going to mobilize young people to support youth candidates in 2019. We're also going to rally around across board. So we are not there yet. But honestly, with what I have seen over the last one year, I think that young people are beginning to, 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 to come together um, to forge partnerships for a new Nigeria. Samson, let's wait for 2019 to come and then, you know, we can see if truly that cohesion and that national um, togetherness, like you said, irrespective of religion, tribe, you know, and race, will come to play a part in the, the elections. But let me come over to you. To, to Ben, who joins us from um, Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia. Well, Ben, like uh, Michael said again earlier on, you know, the third force which we know or which we have seen or which we have heard of, um, apparently we have a few, one or two movements here and there. We have the, um, the Nigerian um, interventionist movement. We have the coalition, you know, for a new Nigeria. I mean, how confusing or how, how direct can this be in terms of bringing about that third force that will challenge the status quo, like what we have at the moment, the PDP, and of course, the APC and the other political parties that we have? Yeah, um, this thought force uh, is coming at the right time. It's coming at a very, uh, at a very crucial time when Nigeria needs, uh, needs something to be done uh, on the current status quo. You know? How so? And if, we, if, we don't, if we don't break this the current status quo we have now, and, um, and it, it will, we are going nowhere, and this is the only opportunity we have we have to break the status quo. Because if you look at what has happened over the last uh, decade, we've seen these same old folks recycling themselves, those who are leaving the PDP to APC, it's, they are still the same old folks. So, and, and, with, the, and with the passage of this not, uh, young, uh, not too young to run bill, it, it has, it's, given already, it's already given an equal opportunity equal playing ground for everybody now to participate uh, for uh, for any to run for any political uh, office in the land and so and so this uh, and if you look at the two coalitions that are coming on board at least and the only way they can achieve uh, their mission is to is to is to either come together use one one of the major political parties because at least now we have a lot of political parties they will all find themselves sink into one political party and make that political party strong and vibrant enough to take on power from the current administration because if you look at the current situation on board if you want to if you want to single out the president Muhammad Buhari alone Muhammad Buhari alone is already is already is a, is a force to be reckoned with and with this thought force we need someone who is very strong enough uh, uh, energetic enough and with the strength of the Nigerian youth we can we can take on him but if we want to stay one by one sideline ourselves we want to do everything on our own party on our own uh, singular energy we will not be able to take on him but this thought force is coming at a very good time so that we, we can be able to address the issues that is befalling us the issues are so germane so a lot of things have gone wrong we want to begin to see new new faces uh, uh, in the, in the M of affairs, if, 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 I, if, I may, if I may come in, if I may come in, Ben, I mean, you, you, you I, I understand you, you want to see that, that, that change. But if you look at the third force, like 
what we have seen, I mean, like it, their faces and their papers on the papers, you know, and even on television stations, Channel TV as well, they consist mostly of old people. Yeah, it, how do you change the status quo? How do you take the structure away from this yeah, third force? The truth of the matter, with this old, with this old folks, some of them there, some of them may have made mistakes, like the likes of Obama and Joe, who, who, who we all blame him uh, for most of the current issues we are having. We we'll blame him for that. But if he has realized that he has made a lot of mistakes and he's, and he's trying to say, okay, I will show you the way, just like Moses did. I took them out from, uh, took the children of Israel out from, for, uh, uh, out, of, out of Egypt and someone like Joshua completed the journey. So fine. So we can take the lead. He will show us the way and another young guy will take on from him. But this is the only opportunity we have now. And for someone like Obasanjo to come and join the uh, the third force movement is a very it's gonna give it's gonna it's gonna give it a boost because and at the, at the same time politics in Nigeria is money. We need money to fund politics. It's not just about um uh, you know a youth coming out. If you look at how much is even the, the presidential form nomination form, you know how much it costs. So not just not any ninety fact. I can tell you seventy percent of Nigerians cannot just have, cannot afford the, the nomination form ticket alone. So some of these people will need them. We will need them financially. We need them to help us financially. But at the same time, the young people will also not have to define. We have to define their limit. So for someone like Obasanjo to come up on board, to come on board and say, look, this is what we want now. He's an old man. He's, he ha he's got the experience. He knows why he said we need a third force. But so I think that the PDP has failed and the APC has also failed. And we need a new political party, a new third force. So what this third force has to do now is look at what we have, sink into one major political party. There's no need trying to register one, going to, you know, running here, Helter Skelter to register a political party. We have a lot of political parties. All we need to do is Pick one political party, sink all our, sink ourselves in it, do the needful, do the groundwork in the political party, set up structures all around the country, and we are good to go. Well, let, let's wait for that time to come, to, to, to come. But let, you know, let me just, just come back to you on some of the things you said. You know, the issue of structures, you know, the issue of financing, you know, how 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 do young people? Because how do young yeah. people, you know, clear all, all, all of that? Well, like Eric pointed out, we don't have the young people don't have the financial muscle to contest with whoever is coming, or maybe from the APC or PDP. So, like, like I said, the young people need to align with the older ones, like maybe Obasanjo and the rest, to fund. But again, when they fund, when the Obasanjo, when would they be asking for? Okay, have you afraid, where is my, my investment? Time to recoup. Then start appointing the same old people again. So I think it's a time for the young people to say, okay, we want to help you guys to. Get this country in shape, um, but without having any form of like interest, no strings, no strings attached. attached. Exactly. So if if that's the kind of arrangement they have, it's fine. And we have a young guy. I mean, we have young guys in PDP and APC. They, we, are, we are all on Twitter. You, doing... you people always skip the other political parties. I don't. I don't know why. But we'll, we'll get to that in in just a moment. But let's take a quick break. I will take a quick break, and we'll be back shortly. Please stay with us.